Hello, I am Bavitra from Informatica GCS. In this video, we will see what is a manual data element in CDGC, how to create it and the permission required for it to create. Here is the agenda. Manual data element. A manual data element is the business representation of data that may not be available in the catalog but is essential to capture for governance purposes in your organization. If you are a business user, you can manually create a data element within a data set. A data set can either have technical data elements or manual data elements or a combination of both. Permission required. Create or update privilege on the data set assert type is required to create a manual data element. Although a manual data element is a type of a business assert, it exists in a business data set and not as a standalone business assert. Hence to create an MDE, ensure that the user has create or update privilege on the data set assert type. Creating manual data element. In order to create a manual data element, you have to go to the data governance and catalog, go to the data set and go to the contents tab, where you will see a plus icon. Uh, once you click it, you can create a manual data element. You cannot create a manual data element with the same name in the same data set. Once you click on create, you will see a widget getting popped up and where you have to provide in the required details to create the manual data element. And you can see the name is only the mandatory field. Upon creation, a message stating that the manual data element assert was created successfully with the reference ID will be seen. You can view the relationship between the manual data element and the data set in the relationship tab of both of the asserts. The left screenshot shows the relationship tab from the manual data element, where you can notice the relationship type as the parent of. And the right side screenshot is from the data set, where you can see the relationship of the manual data element. Now we'll move on to a quick demo. Now I have logged into the data governance and catalog and I'll search for the respective data set where I wanted to create my manual data element. This is the data set that I wanted to create a manual data element. So here you can see both the technical data elements and the manual data element under this data set. So if I wanted to create one, you will have to go to the contents tab and uh, where you can see the plus icon, click on it and click on uh, create manual data element. Once you select, you will see this widget and uh, provide the name required to create the manual data element. Once done, click on create and you can see the manual data element. A uh, successful message has been popped up that it has been created and you can go to the relationship tab to view the relationship between this manual data element and the data set. And similarly, you can go back to the data set and uh, refresh it where you will notice the manual data element under the contents tab. As informed earlier, you cannot have the same manual data element created under the data set. So if I try to create the same uh, manual data element under the same data set, you will see uh, an error being thrown. Yes, you can see that uh, this already exists within this data set, so you will have to enter a unique name. So now I'll discard it. But you can have the same manual data element name in a different data set. So now um, I'll go to a different data set and uh, let's try creating a manual data element with the same name there. Go to contents and I'll click on the plus icon and provide the same name, like test MD. Click on create and you can see that it is getting created successfully. Yep. So that's it with the demo. In case if you have any questions related to this uh, video, please reach out to us in any of these channels. Thank you.